Hi, and welcome to Jesse Tantra Yoga. This is one of my first classes that I'm teaching online, and I'm just so happy to connect with some of you who are far away, and this is just a wonderful tool to share my love of yoga and different practices with you. So thank you so much. If you do like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe. And I will be offering different Zoom classes as well. If you are interested in that, please let me know. All right, we're gonna start today seated on our mat. So go ahead and find a comfortable seated position. And just take this time to really begin to tune into your body taking some deep grounding breaths in through your nose and hold, slowly begin to let it go. Again, inhale, hold and release. And just notice any thoughts arising for you. Bringing your awareness to your breath. And to relaxation in your body. And now I invite you to bring your palms together at your heart. And before we begin, I would like to dedicate the fruits of this practice to accessing the highest good for all of life, accessing our inner fire, our inner strength. Take a deep inhale. Hold and slowly let it go. Now I invite you to bring the palms of your hands to your knees. We're slowly going to move our pelvis in a circle to the right. And just continue to breathe deeply as you move. And make your way back to center. We're now going to change directions, moving to the left. And when you're ready, just slowly come back to center. Take a deep breath. And let it go. Now we're just going to loosen up the muscles in the neck. So just slowly begin to move your head to your right shoulder. And when you're ready, go ahead and move it back to the left shoulder. Down and around. And just take your time here. There might be some tension, that's okay. Just do the best that you can. And come back to center. We'll now move to the other side.
And make your way back to center. Notice what is showing up for you in this moment. Now just gently begin to place the palm of your right hand to the ground. Inhale, left hand comes up and overhead, giving yourself a nice side body stretch. Mm. Just let go here. Relaxing these muscles, taking your time, and take a deep breath, and slowly release, coming back to center. And when you're ready, go ahead and plant your left palm on the ground, right hand comes up and overhead. And take a deep inhale, exhale, release. Mm. Notice how you feel. And now we're just going to gently come on to our hands and our knees. When you're ready, go ahead and inhale, lifting your head up to the sky. Exhale, arch the back, bring your head to your chest. Inhale, lift. Exhale, head to chest. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And if you'd like, you can bring your knees even closer to the back of the mat and just find some circles here with your head. Just really releasing any stress that you've been carrying. Allowing yourself to really flow like water here. Mm. Bringing in the elements of water and just breathing in your creativity, your flexibility and your fluidity. Just allow yourself to move in whichever way that you feel called to move today. <laughs> Giving yourself permission to let go. Remember to continue to breathe deeply. And when you're ready, we're going to go ahead and take a back bend. So go ahead and bring your hands to your ankles. And you can just slowly begin to lift yourself up. And if you'd like, you can just stay where you are, lift it up, heart is expanding, or you can lift even higher and just give yourself this opportunity to rock up and down, up and down.
take a few deep breaths and release. Hands come to your sides and relax. Head rests on the ground. And when you're ready, we'll go ahead and lift once more. Inhale. Expand your heart, allowing your anahata to fill with compassion, empathy, and altruism. The anahata is your heart chakra located in the center of your chest. Just breathe this in and slowly release, exhaling to the ground. Once more, relax your body, giving yourself a break. And now we'll slowly come on to our forearms. This is our Banjugasana. This is a heart opening asana once more. You can either just stay right here, lifting your head up, opening your chest, relaxing your shoulders, or you can even bring your palms to the ground, really lifting yourself off the mat. So this might be a little bit much of a back bend for you. So if you'd like, you can just stay on your forearms, whatever is most comfortable for you today. Make sure to listen to your body. And we'll just take another few deep breaths. When you're ready, we'll slowly begin to come back onto our knees, bringing our big toes close together. We're going to come back into our child's pose, head to the mat. And you can either keep your hands out in front of you, or you can just bring them around your body. And you can even grab your right wrist with your left fingertips for more of a heart opening stretch. And just breathe deeply in our child's pose here. Bringing in compassion towards oneself. This asana allows for what is known as pratyahara which is releasing our external senses and turning inwards. May we take this time to thank ourselves for this beautiful practice today.
When you're ready, just slowly begin to make your way back up. Finding a nice, comfortable seated position on your mat. We're just going to take a few moments here. Acknowledging our inner flame. So feel free to place one hand on your heart and one on your belly. Notice your breathing. When you're ready, go ahead and bring the palms together at your heart. We're going to end this class with the chant of Om. So we're going to inhale and exhale our Om. Inhale. Stay. Thank you so much for joining me. May you continue to carry this peace with you throughout the rest of your day.